Hey guys, it's Madeline here. So I made a video a while back about uh, what makes a good music video. I made that video in the first place so I could follow up with more videos about ranking music videos. And my first video, as I said at the end of the last one, is going to be Cool the Shaker. There are 15 music videos in all, and the last time I filmed this, I actually got them. I actually missed one, so I'm gonna try not to miss one this time. At number 15, we have Great Dictator of the Free World. Now this song, I've never really enjoyed it to begin with, uh, but the music video makes me dislike the song more just because it's so low budget and it's more something that some kid would have made in like 2008 and put it up on YouTube for their friends to watch. I understand why it had that kind of vibe to it, but it doesn't make it a good video. I mean, at least if they wanted that kind of vibe, they could have done something more like drink tea than they did with Great Dictator. It looks like you made it in MS Paint or something. And to follow up with that video, number 14 does happen to be drink tea. Um, this song is another song that I actually dislike more than Great Dictator, but at least the video is better, and it seems more like an infographic, like one of those videos they show us in English to introduce us to Shakespeare. I guess it's just the combination of the song I don't like, the lyrics I don't like, and the video just seems like a business campaign. Doesn't make for a good combination. At number 13, we have Hush, the US version. This is one of those complaints I have about the live music videos. Doesn't ch really change at all. My favorite video from Kula Shaker is Last Farewell. It is one continuous scene with the live, but for one, their costumes are interesting, like the way they dress, and the background is constantly changing colors, so it feels like you're going from one place to another. Whereas Hush, it's not aesthetically pleasing, it's just a blue background if I'm remembering correctly, and then plain t-shirts as well. It's more like one of those live shows you would watch between your shows on Disney Channel than it is an actual music video. It's more of a promotional video than anything else if you get what I'm trying to say. At number 12, we have two sticks. The dark lighting and the silhouettes are a lot more appealing than, again, just the blue background and the camera's different camera angles with the same scene. Uh, I also like the bird silhouettes. There's not a lot to say about it. It's just kind of dull. At number 11, we have Sound of Drums. This, it's a good example of a live montage. Uh, I like the camera angles. I like, again, the aesthetics. It just says, I don't know. It's not really a music video. It's more just a live montage, hence why it didn't get higher on the list. At number 10, we have the first music video that has acting in it, really. Uh, Peter Pan R.I.P. This song used to be my favorite Kula Shaker song, and the fact that it's only at number 10 says something about the music video. It's not that it's bad, I, c I mean, it fits really well with the song. I like the old man, I like the children he's dancing around, but I guess just the fact that the band doesn't play a huge role in the song. They're just kind of the band on the side. I mean, and two, they don't even play the instruments in the song. I mean, for most of the song, you just see uh, Crispian sitting here with, with his violin and just singing. He's not playing it at all. Like, I'm conflicted between actually wanting the band to be acting in the video and how well the actors fit in with the song but it's still at number 10. At number nine, we have Hush, which I think is the UK version, I'm just assuming. Uh, this one is more of a live montage than it was the other one, whereas the other one seemed more like a promotional video. It made the list higher than the other three because it added some other shots behind the scenes with them playing with the ball with the K. 
I know I said I didn't like these montage type videos in my last video, but with this video and Hush specifically, the messing around backstage actually works with the lyrics. I guess it also just got hired just because Hush is such a darn good song. I love it so much. At number eight, we have Second Sight. I really like this song actually, and I love how they did the music video as well with the silent movie. I mean, I especially love how like, Chris Fiat is supposed to be like Sherlock Holmes or something. And it's probably the best that is based solely on story than it is on live vocals. It's probably my favorite out of all of those just because it's so hilarious. When the rabbit just shows up out of nowhere and he's fighting this rabbit and then he's shown in the rabbit suit. Uh, Crispian like tries to put something in his eye and then he tastes the thing in his eye. This video is just laughable to me, hence why I couldn't put it higher on the list. I do have to say, uh, Crispian does a really good job of miming playing the violin. Can he actually play the violin? I don't think he can. At number seven, we have Shower Your Love. Uh, this song, again, one of my favorite songs at number seven, doesn't really speak well for the song. There's not necessarily anything bad with the video. The only way I could find this video, actually, was through a YouTube video with the video backwards. So I had to go put the video forwards and then add this song on top of it so that I could actually view the video to put on this list. Maybe that contributed to its spot on this list. I really like Crispian's facial expressions in the video. I think that's probably the best part of the video, but I don't know, I just like the six other ones more. Process of elimination, really. At number six, we have Mystical Machine Gun. Now, I've been watching the documentary, the Faith of Music documentary, a lot, and I mean a lot. I once watched it three times in one day if you really want to know. And they talked about this video in that documentary and how the lunar scene, he actually didn't want that in the video. I don't know why he put that in. I remember going there and finding myself on the lunar set and saying, why, why have you done this? And he was like, oh, I think it'd be really interesting. Yeah, he cut it in, he thought it looked great. It's not really consistent. It's just kind of weird, honestly. I mean, you have these guys watching a band and showing off all their futuristic, uh, modern day stuff. And then you have the lunar scene where there's this guy walking off into the moon. It makes somewhat sense, but it's still kind of weird. <laughs> the best part about this video, and like I mentioned in the last video, is watching Crispy and walk around. I mean, I don't... Uh, but I don't know, that's still the best part of the video to me, and throughout the entire video, I was just like, I would have preferred this video to just be a live performance thing, honestly, just because of Crispian's weird hands. I mean, especially when he starts smashing his guitar against the piano. I was so shocked when he first started doing that. Did you fix the guitar afterwards? Did you just have the guitar so you could destroy it? I, I don't know. It kind of hurt to watch though. At number five, we have Infinite Sun. This is probably not the best song uh, that Kula Shaker has written, but I really love the music video because the studio actually worked really well for it. I mean, I liked the different shots of him being in front of like a pop filter and then playing the guitar, uh, playing the sitar. But not only that, they took a video where it was 100% live performances or studio performances really, and they made it still a part of the song. I loved uh, the people standing in the circle all playing different instruments, especially while they're singing we are one in the infinite sun, uh, talking about multiple people, like, 
we're all one in this world. I don't know. I like, especially when they're playing like the piano or the drums or the sitar and there's people behind them going with the hands. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy in a way, but it, it added something new to the fact that, yes, it is a live performance, but they're also trying to make a show at the same time. And again, I just like Crispian uh, in front of the camera. At number four, we have Hey Dude. Hey Dude is a good video because... Let me just be a total girl for a second. I just like it when male musicians with long hair just start shaking their heads around. I mean, the Beatles did it. Velvet Starlings does it. Crispian does it. I don't, I don't know if I'm attracted to it or if I just think it's adorable. Both are equally likely. But if, you, if you're one of those people that do it, and you do that in a video, I'm going to like the video more. It's a terrible reason to put it where I did, but still. If you want a legit reason why it's so good, I mean, I liked uh, just the fact that they're on a bus and playing. The camera is always moving. You're never on one shot for too long, which makes it more interesting. I mean, especially, again, with Crispy and just in front of the camera to alleviate the pain. I found the shots where they're just moving their hands around uh, the different filters interesting. I like the video just because it's a good song combined with uh, interesting uh, different ways that they're moving their bodies or... Even just the inertia from the bus that you see at the beginning and the end of the videos. I mean, what else were you supposed to do for this video? I thought it was just, they just decided to film on top of a bus. How many people decide to do that for their videos? I love you, cat. Meow. I know you don't like this very much, but I want you. At number three, we have Grateful When You're Dead. Like I talked about in the previous video, the camera is always moving, short attention spans, <laughs> and it keeps you interested in the video. I love the old fashioned microphone that they used. I loved like the heat sensors, I think they are, um, on their faces. It makes them look more rebellious, menacing. Uh, the atmosphere of the video is just says the lyrics themselves. I love Crispian's performances. Uh, how he looks like he's literally screaming. It perfectly matches his energy. I like watching the microphone swing around. I don't know, he has weird faces while he's singing, especially the ba ba ba. <laughs> At number two, we have Tetba. This song probably only made it so high just because it's one of the best songs by Kula Shaker. I just really like the different projections that they have. I mean, for one, they have the like, the lights are interesting, like the flower and they show the actual flowers. This is one of the most solid music videos that they've made really. Just the different ideas that they have, the different shots that they chose. Ooh, she loves it so much, she's meowing. And at number one, we have Govinda. Now, Govinda is way better than Tatva. I will argue with you about this. But the music video itself is so mesmerizing in a way. I mean, you got the fire, you got the water, you got the person that looks like an Indian princess. I like the way they dressed. It, it's kind of like old fashioned. It fits with the song. The way they're kind of messing around a bit. Um, and especially at the end when uh, Crispian just kind of gets on his knees, go Vintum. And then he's just sitting there on his knees, like looking up into the sky. I say is the best video, not just because of the video is interesting, but also just because the song is so good. And this is probably the best representation of what Kula Shaker is, especially because it's one of their songs that's in Sanskrit. So really, if someone asked me who Kula Shaker was, 
I really would show them the video for Govinda. And yeah, that's the end of my list for the best Kula Shaker music videos, or really all of them ranked. If you want to read any of my other ranked lists, I do a lot of discography rankings on my Medium, and I'm going to be working on Kula Shaker soon. Uh, so if you want to look out for that, I'm going to put the link to my publication in the description. Uh, be sure to like this video if you did like it, and maybe subscribe if you want to see more. And if there are any other artists uh, or maybe songs you want me to analyze, uh, music videos you want me to rank, all that stuff, leave those in the comments below. I'll be sure to do a video on it soon. And yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching. Remember to play it loud. you kitty <laughs> yay yay <laughs> I love you <laughs>